Please open your Bible, the book of John. The life of the Lord Jesus Christ was written by four gospel writers. And they were Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. And they presented the Lord Jesus Christ differently. Matthew presented Jesus Christ as the King of the Jews because his audience is primarily the Jewish people. Mark presented Jesus Christ as the servant of Jehovah. While Luke, because, uh, while Luke presented Jesus Christ as the perfect son of man, Mark's audience is none other than the Roman people. Luke Luke's audience is the Greek because Greek people were looking for a deified God so if they wanted a deified one all they have to do is to know about the perfect son of man while John he presented Jesus Christ as the divine son of God open your Bible in the book of John chapter 5 Whenever we read the Bible and how the Lord Jesus Christ approached people and how He healed people, there is always a message that the Lord was trying to convey to the people. Just like what we have studied last Sunday, the miracles of the five loaves and the two fishes. Remember that story? The Lord Jesus Christ presented Himself as the very performer of miracles. He multiplied the bread and the fishes. At makita natin, He is really the provider of the nation Israel during their wandering for 40 years in the wilderness. This morning, we are going to study about a man that is healed by the Lord, an impotent man. And through the Bible, we can see truth about Jesus Christ. Tandaan nyo palagi, whenever we read the Bible, the Lord wanted His people, His audience, ng anong tingin nila sa kanya. It's kasi it's very important for us to know about Jesus Christ. How do we look on Him? Sino ba talaga siya? John chapter 5, beginning verse 1, I'm going to read until verse 18. After this, there was a feast of the Jews and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is at Jerusalem with a sheep market, a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue, Bethesda, having five porches. In this lay a great multitude of impotent folk, of blind, hog, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Whosoever then first after the troubling of the water stepped in was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. And a certain man was there which had an infirmity thirty and eight years. When Jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been now a long time in that case, he said unto him, Will thou be made whole? The that man answered him, Sir, I have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool. But while I am coming, another stepped down before me. And Jesus said unto him, Wise, take up thy bed and walk. And immediately the man was made whole and took up his bed and walked. And on the same day was the Sabbath. The Jews therefore said unto him that was cured, It is the Sabbath day. It is not lawful for thee to carry thy bed. He answered them, He that made me whole and same said unto me, Take up thy bed and walk. Then asked him, then asked they him, What man is that which said unto thee, Take up thy bed and walk? And he that was healed wist not who it was, for Jesus conveyed himself away, a multitude being in that place. Afterward, Jesus findeth him in the temple, and said unto him, Behold, thou art made whole, sin no more, lest a worse thing come unto thee. The man departed, and told the Jews that it was Jesus, which he had made him whole. And therefore did the Jews persecute Jesus and sought to slay him, because he had done these things on the Sabbath day. But Jesus answered them, My father worketh hitherto, and I work. Last verse, verse 18, Therefore the Jews sought the more to kill him, 
because he not only had broken the Sabbath, but said also that God was his father, making himself equal with God. Lord, we bless the reading of your word. Your word is so precious in the days of Jeremiah because people did not want to hear it. But in our time, your word is so precious in our ears. If the word of God is preached without compromise and with all conviction, the Holy Spirit will work in us and the truth of the word of God will stay forever. It will stay forever true. It doesn't matter if man would not believe it or not. It will remain true in every generation and in every dispensation. Right now, guide us and open our understanding, open our eyes of faith so that we may see Jesus Christ. And the, the more we see the Lord, the way He wants us to see Him, this will change our behavior, will change the way we serve Him, the way we treat Him. We ask forgiveness from all our sins and shortcomings. May your name be glorified after this. We commit all these things in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. What Jesus wanted them to see. What Jesus wanted them to see. We just read a passage from the Bible that Jesus Christ just healed an impotent man. And the Bible says how many years? This man has suffering impot impotency. I mean how many years? He had been suffering that kind of sickness for 38 years. Siguro matanda na itong may edad na siya. For 38 years, he has been in this situation. And if you read the story, how the Lord Jesus Christ healed the impotent man. How did he heal this man? Paano niya pinagaling? Ha? Dinala niya pa sa PGH? Did the Lord bring him in any hospital? No! How did the Lord heal the impotent man? When you say impotent, ibig sabihin, hindi pala siyang capable na makapaglakad. And he was there, on that pool, believing that there was a, there will be an angel will come down and will trouble the water. Who comes first? Will be healed. Ayun yung sabi dito sa story. No? Sabi, may, may tradition sila na ganun. I don't know, i-research if that's true or not, but in the Old Testament, wala talagang ganun. It's just a superstitious belief. Kasi wala naman talagang angel na bumababa and will trouble the pool and who comes first? Lugi naman yung gagapang, hindi makapaglakal. So, an angel will come and then will trouble the water. And who comes first will be healed. First come, first serve. But the problem, sabi nung lalaki, when Jesus Christ met him, I could not go to the pool. If angel would come down and trouble the water, hindi naman ako makapunta because nobody would put me there. Wala naman siyang friend. Yung mga BFF niya, iniwanan na siya. And then sabi niya, wala na, hindi ako maggagaling. And not knowing, no? Who would have thought? No, ang ganda ng tanda ng poem. No? Ano yung kinakanilan? Who would have thought that the Lord will save the three Hebrew children? Hindi nila alam na the Son of Man will be walking with them. At this time, the Lord Jesus Christ, this was the scenario. And miraculously, the Lord healed the impotent man by means of? And how did the Lord heal this impotent man? He just healed the impotent man by means of his word. By means of his word. No need to go to the pool. Sabi niya lang, rise up. Di ba? Sabi ng Panginoon, will thou be made whole? Sabi niya, rise up. Take up thy bed. And walk. When the impotent man heard that, he did what the Lord Jesus Christ had just said. And the Bible said, he was healed. And sabi ng Bible, ha? gumating pa ng Bible ng adverb. No, adverb? Ano yung adverb? Describe? A verb? Nag-describe siya ng adjective, nag-describe siya ng another adverb. Okay? Nag-emphasize siya sa verb. Kasi hindi namin ng Bible verse 9 kasi ganito. And kasi pag nag-aaral ka rin ng Bible, you look for the next lexical analysis. Sabi ng Bible. And immediately, immediately, sabi ng Bible, saan ang immediately? 
Instantly. Ano yung sabi niya? Instantly. Yung history niya, ano tagalog niya? Ah. Agad, agad. And immediately the man was killed. The Lord just spoke and His word healed him. And the problem is that the Lord Jesus Christ healed on Sabbath day. Any idea what is Sabbath day for the Jewish people? That's fast. The rest day. Masira man ngayon, di ba? This is the rest day. Mamaya titignan natin. Kasi there was an accusation. When the Jewish people saw that that impotent man was healed on the Sabbath day, there was an a, an uproar. No? There was an, an accusation of the Lord Jesus Christ. But they failed to see what the Lord was trying to tell them. Anong hindi nakilimutan nila? Anong gustong gawin ng Panginoon? Why He healed the impotent man? Why? It's because the Lord, meron siyang ibig sabihin, meron siyang ipakita, what is the Lord wanted them to see about Him? Kasi napaka-importante na makita natin kung sino si Jesus Christ. Kasi baka mamaya may connotation tayo na ito ang Panginoon. Now, from this story, we could draw five truths about Jesus Christ. Who is the Lord Jesus Christ? On this passage, the Lord was accused by His enemy, by the Jewish people, of violating the Sabbath because He healed the Sabbath. And later on, meron pang another issue na inakyo sa Kanya. Titignan natin. But sabi ng Bible, it is not lawful for you to do this, sabi ng mga Jewish people. And they failed to see who is the Lord Jesus Christ. In this passage, I want you to see ang Panginoon, sabi ng Bible, in verse, look at in verse 6. When Jesus saw him, the Bible tells us, pag nakita natin, again in verse, in verse, uh, what is that? 14, look at that. After Jesus finded him, makita natin sa Bible, the Lord wanted them to see him as what? Tandahin pa lagi, the Lord is the seeker of men. He is the seeker of man. The Bible says, the Lord saw him and findeth him. Naniniwala ko, bagong hanapin, bago natin hanapin ng Panginoon, bago natin siya nakita, nakita niya na tayo nung una. He saw us before we saw him. He sought us before we sought him. Ang Diyos ang unang naghahanap. No? He na he looked for that impotent man. Meaning to say, for 38 years, the Lord knew the story about the impotent man. Di ba mayroong bantang, He was there all the time. Alam niyo ba, the Lord is seeing your situation. Alam niya kung ano nangyayari sa atin. At siya yung naghahanap. Kasi hindi naman siya hinanap ng impotent man. Kaya nga siya impotent, hindi siya makapaglakad. Ang Panginoon ang lumapit sa Kanya. Tandaan nyo, bago tayo lumapit sa Diyos, Siya yung unang lumapit sa atin. Bago natin siyang mahalin, diba? the Bible says, we love Him because He first loved us. Bago tayo nagbigay, Siya muna yung unang nagbigay. Palagi Siya palagi ang nauna. Hindi naman natin talaga Siya inanap, the Bible says, no one seeks God, no one is seeking after God. Wala naman talaga nagahanap. When we were born in this world, hinahanap na ba natin ang Diyos? No! Ano hinahanap natin? The pleasures of this world, the sin of this world, the material things of this world. But we never saw the very source of everything. Pero sabi ng Bible, makita niyo rito, not only that He was looking for us all the time, look at the attitude of Jesus Christ. What will thou be made whole? Gusto mo bang gumalik? Look at the Lord Jesus Christ. His willingness to help people. His willingness to heal people. Yun yung Jesus Christ na kilala ko. He's willing to help us kung ano man yung situation. And sabi na Bible in verse 7, sumagot yung impotent man. Look at this. Jesus Christ is listening to our request. Amen. Siya yung unang nagtatanong, ano ba kailangan nyo? Hindi ba palagi yung sinasabi? Ang problem kasi sa atin, we don't ask. We don't look for God's answer. Palagi talaga may problema sa atin. Because the Lord is just waiting for us. 
Sabi ng ipodon man, and answered, sir. Eto tigni ipodon man. He did not have any idea who he was talking to. Ang sabi niya lang, sir. Isan tayo when we pray, we don't have any idea who is that God but that we are praying to. Do you have any idea kung sino yung Diyos na pinapanalanginan natin? Ang tawag niya lang, sir. Of course, hindi na natin naman masisi. Hindi niya pa nga kilala yan eh. Anong tinanong nga siya ng mga, ng mga Diyos? Sino ba nagpagaling sa'yo? Hindi ko naman alam kung sino siya. And then when the Lord finds him in the temple, nagpakilala ng Panginoon. Sabi ng Panginoon, wait, thou be made whole? Ang ganda ng tanong niya, ano? Gusto mo bang dumali? Di ba? Kung i-apply natin in some, in some spiritual application, gusto mo bang mabless? Gusto mo bang umayos yung buhay mo? Gusto mo ba na makapasok ako sa buhay mo? Wow! Gusto mo ba? Do you want me to enter in into your life? Do you want me to influence your life? Kasi pag sinabi ng impotent, no, I don't need you. Alam mo ng Panginoon, kung hindi niya nalang, I am a seeker of man. And right now, di ba, meron akong preaching when Adam fell into sin, the Lord looked after him. Adam, where art thou? Kaya nga, di ba, pag tayo hinahanap, eh, pag ang member hinahanap ng pastor or, or ng pastor's wife, wow. Importante kayo. Wow. Nangyari, pinihim ko kayo, oy, nasa ka na. Okay, naman ako. Huwag kayong matakot. I- i- Ibig sabihin na nun, maha- nasa puso namin kayo. May hirap, pag di na kayo hinahanap, eh, bayahan ko na siya. Pero pag hinahanap kayo, asan ka, namiss ka namin nung Sunday. Kami ba namiss mo? Gusto mo naman, di ba? When, when we got saved, we was, we was once a lost sinner. But now we are found. In this passage, the Lord is the seeker of men. Punta ko sa number two. Okay na kayo? In this passage, the Lord was accused of violating the Sabbath. Ito magandang issue to eh. Because if you read your Bible, many times, the Lord Jesus Christ performed His healing during the Sabbath day. And for the Jewish setting, Sabbath is a rest day. Meaning to say, you are not going to work on Sabbath day. Okay? Bawal mag, sa mga hudyo, bawal magtrabaho pag Sabbath day, bawal mag, mag, mag-light ng, ng, ng fire, bawal din maglakbay ng malayo, pero meron din tawag na sabbatical journey, yung mga 1.6 miles na maliit lang yun. So, parang from from Jerusalem to Bethany yun. So, it's just a sabbatical journey, pero beyond that, bawal mag, mag-travel. Okay? Bawal ang... Uh, 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 mag, magkuha ng mga stick. Okay? Para magluto. Bawal yan kasi that's forbidden in the in, in mosaic law. It's a rest day for the, for the people. But the Lord, sabi ng Bible, He performed during the Sabbath day. Diba sabi nila, it is not lawful for thee. Nung nakita nila when, when the Jewish people saw the impotent man walking, tala yung bed niya, it is not lawful for you to walk and carry your bed. Sino gumawa sa inyo yan? Di ba sinabi niya, ah, ah, hindi niya naman alam kung sino pa. Basta may nagsabi lang sa akin. And then the Lord, what? Ano nangyari rito? Masama ba talagang gumawa ng Sabbath day? Iisasata natin yung issue. Because on my point, they claim to see that Jesus Christ is a Sabbath keeper. Open your Bible in, in Matthew 12.8. Matthew 12.8. Matthew chapter 12 verse 8 For the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath day. He is the Lord of the Sabbath. Meaning to say, if He is the Lord of the Sabbath, He would be the keeper. He would not be a destroyer. Because the Bible says, Jesus Christ came not to destroy, but to fulfill. Meaning to say, when He was on the earth, He fulfilled everything even the Sabbath. Kaya nga, when the Lord was accused, kasi, nagpagalit ka during Sabbath. Tinanong nila, Pangilang, in other passage, look at Matthew chapter, Matthew, Matthew chapter 12. The same yan, Matthew chapter 12, verse 10. Look at that. Matthew chapter 12, verse 10. 
And behold, there was a man which had his hand withered, and they asked him, saying, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath days that they might accuse him? And he said unto them, What man shall there be among you that shall have one sheep, and if it fall into a pit on the Sabbath day, will he not lay hold on it and lift it out? How much then is a man better than a sheep? Wherefore, it is lawful to do well on the Sabbath day. Now, what is forbidden on Sabbath day? You are forbidden to work on that day. You are forbidden to walk beyond the sabbatical journey. When the Lord Jesus Christ was accused of performing miracles during Sabbath, kaya siya tinanong ng mga hudyo, it's not because of the miracle, but they look something that, might, they, that they might accuse Him. Kasi gusto nilang, they, they wanted to get rid of Jesus Christ. So bakit? Bakit ang hino mga religious leaders na gusto nilang mawala ang Panginoon? Eh, pambira, ikaw ba naman mag-perform ng tinapay? At isda, ang mga tao sumusunod sa'yo. Wow! Biro mo, pag sumunod ka lang sa Panginoon, meron ka ng tuna sandwich? Biro mo, pag sumunod ka sa Panginoon, gumabag yun, Lord! Meron ba yung magibis? Pwede bang pahintuin mo? And there was a great calm. Wow! Di ba? Masarap maging kaibigan ng Panginoon eh. Kung anong ano nila, di ba? Mamaya maglalakad sa tubig. Lord, pwede ba akong maglakad sa buong tubig? Sabi ni Peter, Come on! Walk on the water! Sabi mo? Kung lumilipad ang Panginoon, Lord, pwede ba ako ribay? Come on! Come fly with me! Para may kejo na din. Now, sabi ng Panginoon, No! Is it lawful? Yes! Nagbigay siya ng example sa mosaic mo. Pwede naman kunin, sabi niya, kapag merong ship, nang nang nag-beach na punta sa pangin, pwede mong kunin during Sabbath day. Pwede kang gumawa ng emergency if it is between life and death. Pero yung magtrabaho, hindi yung lawful. Tsaka yung sabbatical walk, pwede. The Jewish people were so legalistic that they were not able to see the good works for others. Tingnan nyo ha, itong masakit sa mga hudyo. They were so legalistic about keeping the Sabbath. Pero yung to do good works on Sabbath, hindi nila nakita. And the truth about this, Jesus Christ being the Sabbath keeper, parang tayo rin. What is the truth about this? Parang tayo, we go worship during Sunday. And sometimes, wow, it's okay, it's good to be on our, in your nice dress during Sunday because you're going to worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. It's good to have that kind of attire kasi mag-worship tayo sa Panginoon. But again, yung pagpunta natin ng Sunday, no? merong application yan. Because being holy is not only seen when we have a nice dress, being holy is not only seen when we read the Bible, being holy is not only seen when we go to church every Sunday, being holy is seen when you have other people. Nakikita yung kabanalan ng tao, hindi lang sa pananamit at sa pagdadala ng Bible. Nakikita talaga ang taong nasa Diyos kung yung Bible na dinadala niya ay ginasagawa niya sa buhay niya. Ako, I mean, because I don't want to be a legalistic person. If you have an emergency during Sunday, go! Do it! Pero pag puro naman emergency during Sunday, man, masamang pangitahin na yan. Di ba? Di ba? Pastor, naman na po yung German Shepherd namin. Kailangan alagaan ko. Hindi naman mamamatay yan agad. Hindi naman apat lang dapat ang anak niya naging walaw. Wow, what a blessing. Sana mababait, walang lahi ni Hitler dyan. Kasi, tingnan nyo ah, ang mga Jewish people na it's useless being holy outside and without application of it. No? Ang Panginoon, He is not just a Sabbath keeper. He is a Sabbath doer. Meaning to say, we are not just Bible hearers. We are Bible doers. 
Kasi ang nasusukat ng kalaang holiness ng tao, kabangitan ng tao, hindi lang siya good looks niya, pananamit niya, it's helping other people. Yung pagtulong sa kapwa, number one, paano mo tutulungan ang kapwa mo? Para malaman niya kung sino ang Savior. Yun ang number one, to win people to Jesus Christ. Dito tayo, no? Dito tayo nagkakaroon ng parisaid attitude. Pahagi natin na the very motive. Pag ang motive mo hindi na maganda, yun ang hindi maganda. Pangit na yun. Yes, we go Sunday, we go, we go to church every Sunday. Pero pag during the day, how do we apply what we have heard? Now, magandang truth din, pag Sunday meron ang dapat gawin emergency, do it! As long you have the right motive. Pero pag wala namang nonsense yan, magsuswimming ka lang, magmumuling ka lang, wala namang emergency dyan. Pastor, magmumuling lang ako kasi kasi may banquet sa office. Hey, I need to buy my dress. And today is the last day of sale. <laughs> and that only shows you motive mo. Wala namang sa Panginoon. Pastor, I need an emergency. I need to go. I need, I need to bring my mother to the hospital. Go! Dahil mo yung mother mo sa hospital. Pwede naman yan. As long na tama yung motibo mo. Eto mga taong to, they, they just accuse the Lord. Ah, sila nga, tingin nyo ha, parang ganito, nagsasabat kidding ha, pero ang mga ugali naman ang sasama. Ang hirap yung abuse tayo, no? Simba. Lalo na yung mga mga young people na saved, tapos ang parents nyo hindi saved. Di ba may mga unsaved labons pa kayo? Simba ka ng simba every Sunday! Pero yung ugali mo hindi nagbabago! Sabi ko nun, men. Tama! Yung kapit bahay natin, baptist. Simba-simba na every Sunday, may dala ng bahay po, pero tingnan mo, pag may bangayan yung mag-asawa, paano ko maniniwala sa mga yan? Uy, huwag na itong mga istorya yan. Hindi chismates yan. Dapat kung merong mga nagsisimba ng Sunday sa Baptist, dapat pag gawin na bakit kayo yung pinakamabait na tao sa community niyo. Ano ang amen doon? Amen. <laughs> Pwede nga yung asin yung kapitbahay, pinagluluto ko ngayon ng tinola, bakit napagluto niyo naman ang tinola yung kapitbahay niyo? Di ba maganda rin yan, ah, mare? Pare mo pa pala yun, unsaved kayo. Kasama mo sa tagayan si pare dali. E nakita nagbago ka. You are not just a Sabbath keeper. You are not just a Sunday keeper. You are a doer. Di ba? Sabi ko nga pala, di ba? If there are good people in the world, it should be the Baptist Christian. Amen. Kung meron mga honest sa mga work, it should be Christian. Amen. Kung sino yung mga, di ba? Yung mga nagsusunod na mga, mga, ano yung tagyan? Traffic rules? Ha, patay tayo dyan, patay tayo dyan. Patay ako dyan. It should be Christian. <laughs> Kasi nakakapagpit din ako ng red light. Nahuli nga ako eh. Sa pier, pit ko yung red light. Ah! Siyempre, ah, bigay ni siya. Bosing, bosing. Bibig na red light. Bigay ko yung lesenya. Ah, saan ka ba pupunta? Eh, ang bigay ito masakit. Dala ko pa yung epic. Sayang Bible Baptist Church. Ah, Sayang Bible Baptist Church. Ano ba ba? Pastor ako ng Diyos na. Ito kasi yung totoong issue. Ano ka mo kinabal? Ang bilis ko siyempre sa akin, mabilis ka, di ba? Bilis ko. Ang tinira. Ano-ano-ano, alanganin ako, alanganin ako. Nag-yellow na yung speed ko pa, nasa 60-70 pa. Ang bilis ko, di ba? Bilis ko yung red line, pangirin. Meron pa ng buhay yung nasa gito. Oh my God. Sorry, sabi ko, sorry sir. Ay, nabit ko yung red line. Kung gusto ko akong tikitan, mahala ka. Uh, okay lang. Kaya sino ba ako yung pastor ng church na ako? <laughs> At saan ko ba kayo pumunta? Pumunta ako para niya akin. Kaya hindi ko na tanoo ka na meron akong ministry ngayon ng Sabad. Sabad ng morning ko na rin. Ganun ba pastor? Talagang pastor ako. Ayan pa nga yung Bible ko na sa loob. <laughs> Naku, pastor sunod. Mag-iingat kayo ha. Oo, oh, sir. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oo, oh, di ba? Hira, di ba? Oo, oh, di ba? Oh, ay maging alis kayo mga driver, kala nyo ako lang nagbibig ng red light, ha? Ah. Ang gano'n? Ay, bang gano'n. Marami yan. Marami sa mga natin. Ay, napa. Kaya meron, meron 
isang Amerikano yung sumaki sa isang pastor? Ay, nag-red-light na. Sabi niya, Pastor, Pastor, you should not stop, no? Bakit hindi ka nag-stop? No, the, the red light is just ano, a suggestion. If you, in the Philippines, the red light is just a suggestion or an option. If you would stop or not, you have the option to do. Hindi ka talaga. Pati yung mga Amerikano, nilasan yung utak. Okay. <laughs> sa ibang bansa pa ako talaga yun. Sabi nga sa ibang bansa, even yung, 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 yung pedestrian, kahit palang tumatawa ito, hindi, you have to stop. Kaya sa atin, di ba, pang dito tumubit yung pedestrian, ah, kasi ito! Sila talaga, you are going to stop. And the Lord, and I believe, ang Panginoon is a Sabbath keeper. And He is also a Sabbath doer. Sabi niya, tinan niya, inaayos niya ako ng Sabbath day, ay, I just healed an impotent man. Ano bang mahalaga? Yung nagsisimba ka o yung gumawa ka ng mabuti? Sa akin, mas importante yung pareho. Kasi kung gumawa ka ng mabuti, kasi kung gumagawa ka ng mabuti, kahit di ako nagsisimba, okay lang pala, sinabi mo sa pulpit. Pareho yan! Kala nyo, mamimili ako ng isa. Tapos ang accent mo na ako, mabuti naman ako. No! What I'm saying is, kapag regular na tender ka ng church, magre-reflect yung sa attitude mo. Now, ano pa? What's the truth about this? Gusto ng Panginoon makita siya. Not just, just a seeker of men. Not as just a Sabbath keeper and a doer. In verse 25, look at this. John chapter 5, very tight. John chapter 5, verse 25. Sabi ng Panginoon, in verse 18, I mean, in verse 18, Therefore the Jews sought the more to kill him, because he not only had broken the Sabbath day, or the Sabbath, but said also that God was his father, making himself equal with God. Now, this is the next issue. Okay? Una, gusto ng Panginoon makita niya, I'm the seeker of man. I sought for man. Number two, I'm this, a Sabbath keeper and a doer. Number three, he wanted people to see him as the son of God. The Son of God. Kasi sabi ng mga tao, hindi mo lang pinunyot ang Sabbath day. It's because you, being man, making equal yourself with, with God because you claim God as your Father. Ang mga Jewish now, ang mga Jewish people, look at this, a sort of background. When you go to the Jewish setting, when you go to Israel, there were a lot of people there, they, they claimed to be the Messiah in their past history before Jesus Christ appeared on the scenario. Marami ng tao, they claimed to be the Messiah, the Anointed One. Marami yan, marami na, si Tadeus, marami yan. And then they claimed to be the Anointed One, but they failed to prove that by doing miracles. Now, the Lord Jesus Christ appeared, and you can never fool the Jewish people because they knew entirely the commandment of Moses. Alam nila talaga ang kumatid ng Panginoon. If you are claiming to be the Messiah, then prove it with your miracles. If you are claiming to be the Son of God, the appointed Son of God, then prove it with your miracles. No, ang Panginoon, nag-miracle na siya. Nagpag nagpagaling siya. By means of His word, meaning to say, He is not just an ordinary man. Because never in the Old Testament performed miracles like that. Meron ba? Meron ba sa Old Testament? Wala. Even Moses, si Moses, even si Moses, sa kaya, no, meron isang miracle na si Moses. Meron isang miracle na si Moses, sasabihin niya lang. Kasi lahat ng miracle ni Moses, ginawa, ginawa niya eh. Meron isang miracle na dapat si Moses, sasabihin niya lang. Yung, yung stone maglagay ng magsupay ng water, hindi niya papanuin. Kasi it's a picture of the divine, the divinity lang kayang gumawa. Sayang yun. Now, the Bible says, sabi ng Bible, uh, sabi ng dito, sa Panginoon, sabi niya, yung father na the race ng death, sabi niya, the son of man also can quicken you. Sabi niya verse 21. Sabi ng verse 23, you honor the father, sabi ng Panginoon, and all men should honor the son. Sabi ng verse 26, father hath life in himself, meron siyang life, so as the son of man has life, Ibig sabihin, kung ano meron yung father, meron din yung son. Nagkahalit yung mga Jewish people because he is claiming to be God. At sa kanila, if you claim to be God, it's a blasphemy and worthy of death. Talo naman sinabi ng Panginoon, 
you, you look on this following chapter, I and Father are one. Gaano sila? Batuhin talaga ang Panginoon. We stone you not because of your works, but because you making yourself equal with God. Very clear that Jesus Christ being the Son of God is the very God. Amen. Now, may no mga religion na nagtuturo na si Jesus Christ ay tao lang. Hindi lang tao si Jesus Christ. Right. May nagtuturo na si Jesus Christ ay ginawa lang ng Father. He was just an created person. Hindi yan. May nagtuturo na si Jesus Christ ay, ah, brother ni Lucifer, hindi rin tayo naniniwala yan. Jesus Christ is the very Son of God. Sabi ng Bible, therefore the Jews sought to kill Him. Alin niyo, Panginoon, meron siyang authority to execute judgment. Sabi niya, meron siyang power to forgive sin. Ibig sabihin, He is the very Son of God. You are reading the book of John. Tinapakita ng Panginoon, I am not just an ordinary man. I am God. Kaya nga pag nag-pray kayo sa Panginoon, you are praying to God. Kaya sabi ng Panginoon, Do you believe in God? Believe also in me. Jesus Christ, from the very the bottom of my heart, Jesus Christ is God, and I believe that. Amen. Ang Panginoon ay Diyos. Siya ay namatay, nabuhay after three days, at hindi na siya namatay ulit, at hindi siya namamatay taon-taon. At hindi siya itinaparada. No! The Lord just resurrected after that, hindi na siya namatay. At natin siya, that's why here in our church, we worship Him in spirit and in truth. That's why wala tayong mga idols. Because God is there. Amen. We pray sa isang Diyos. Kaya sabi ng Panginoon, hindi niyo ako pilala. Pag pilasin niyo sa ibang Bible, Moses did not feed you in the wilderness. Ako yung nagpakain sa inyo. Sabi ng Panginoon, Abraham used to see my days. Solomon used to see my days. He was the very God of the Old Testament. Yeah. I am the Alpha and the Omega. So, kaya sabi ng Pilip, Panginoon, gusto namin makita ang Diyos. Pilip, matagal mo na akong kasama, hindi ko pa ako kilala. I was the one who created everything. Sabi ng Panginoon, He is the God of this universe. The Son of God is the very title that proves that Jesus Christ is God. Look at that in verse 34, chapter 5. Verse 34. But I received that testimony from man, but these things I say that they might be saved. The Lord wanted them to see Him as the Savior of the world. Not only as the Son of God, not only as the seeker of man, not only as a Sabbath keeper and a doer, He is the very Savior of the world, that they might be saved, that they may have life. Always remember, salvation and eternal life can only be found in Jesus Christ. No other name, no other person can bring you to heaven. Walang ibang tao, walang ibang pangalan. Sabi nung isa, may narinig ako, wala naman kapangirin ang pangalan ng Panginoon. No, the Bible says, there is power in the name of Jesus Christ. Alam niyo ba ang mga, mga kampuni ng, ng, ng kadiliman? When they hear the word Jesus, nagtetremble sila. Subukan ko lang ha. Jesus! Hindi na hindi kayo nagtremble kasi hindi na mga kampo ng kadiliman. When you hear the word Jesus, there is a worshiping spirit. The name he is the Savior. He is the Savior of your soul. Beyond physical healing, Jesus Christ can heal your spiritual affliction. Ibig sabihin, He is the Savior. Wala naman tayong pinapromote dito. He is the Savior of the world. Gusto nyo ipakita nila, Hey, I can save you. Tingnan nyo, in verse 39, John chapter 5, verse 39, the Lord began to tell them, Search the Scriptures, for in them ye think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. When the Lord healed that impotent man, he was not just a seeker of man. He was not just a Sabbath keeper and a doer of the Sabbath. He was not just the Son of God and the Savior of the world. He is the Scripture's message. He is the, best, the, the very message of the Scripture. Sabi ng Panginoon, You accuse me. Sabi niya sa mga hudyo, You accuse me of blasphemy. You accuse me of doing things during Sabbath and it is not lawful. Sabi ng Panginoon sa kanya, You search the Scripture. Kinalage niya. Mag-aral kayo. Mag-aral kayo ng Bible. 
You search the scripture. What happened? I remember. Do you still remember my preach to What happened when you search the Bible? Kaya nga ang church natin, tinawag siya, Zion, Bible, may Bible. Ibig sabihin, pinaga, kaya dapat talaga ang mga kasyano may Bible. Well, I'm not against cell phone, may, 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 may Bible kayo sa cell phone. Kasi ang parang problema nito pag service, okay naman niya, meron kayo cell phone ng Bible. Ang kalaban natin, hindi ko alam kung sino talaga yung gumagamit ang Bible at nag-Facebook. Uy, totoo yan. <coughs> meron, hindi ko sabihin na, during preaching, may nag-record, oh. Nasa taas, oh. Nasa taas, ah, preaching. Baptist Church. Ang bira pa ng bibir siya, pastor, ang daming gumagamit ng cell phone. Kala ng pastor, Bible yung, kasi di, nandiyan yung Bible eh. Di nyo pa, alam mo, nababasa ng Bible na yun, nagpe-Facebook. Naka-open yung ano, messenger. And I believe, whenever the word of God is being preached, if you do that, if you do stuff like that, I don't know if you would agree with me. Hindi magandang respect yan sa, sa, sa Panginoon. Remember, two or three are guarded, are guarded in His name. Behold, He is in the midst of us. Kaya yung mga 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 magulang, kausap mo anak mo, tinuturuan mo. Habang tinuturuan mo, hindi nakatingin sa'yo. Nagpa-Facebook, wait lang, two seconds. Ano isipin mo? Ang oh, hirap yung mabatong mo yung cellphone. Kinakausap kita! Yeah? Look at that, sabi ng Panginoon. You search the scripture. Hindi niyo ako kilala, sabi ng Panginoon. If you search the scripture, niyo, if you search your Bible, sabi ng Panginoon, makikita niyo what? And you will learn, you will find life. And there is life in Jesus Christ. Once you say, you, you search the scripture, you will find learning that you may know. And above all, you will find the Lord. You will find the Lord. Sabi ng Panginoon sa verse 46, For had you believed Moses, you would have believed me, for he wrote of me. Moses wrote of me, and you got to believe me. Remember when he resurrected? Na nagpakita siya, when he appeared to the two disciples going to Emmaus, what did the Lord do? He began to tell them about himself. He told them about the Old Testament scripture. Pinakinawala niya, I am the very theme of Book of Psalm, the Book of Proverbs. Moses wrote of me, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. Lahat siya, ako ang film. I am the very theme. One time, nagpost ako isang 11 years old na bata. From Genesis to Revelation, sinabi niya kung sino si Jesus Christ. Wow! Don't you know that you can find Jesus Christ in every book of the Bible? Amen! And you will find learning in every verse and in every chapter because there is only one theme of the book. Is that none other than Jesus Christ? Sabi ng mga tag sa Panginoon sa mga tao dyo, you study the book of Moses. Bakit hindi niyo ako nakita dyan? Sa mga libro na yun. At ako ang, I'm the very theme of the book of Torah, the book of Pentateuch. All of the Old Testament and New Testament book. He is the very message. He is the very central theme. Sabi ng Bible, He must be also. If Jesus Christ is the very center of the book, then He must be also the very center of our life. He can be known. He can be sought. He can be learned. He revealed Himself through this book. All you have to do is read the book. You will never hear an audible voice from heaven. So sabi, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Hindi niyo na makikita, maririnig ang Panginoon. Wala na kayong makikita mga angels na mababa kayo at magpapakita. Hey, I am sent by God. No, everything is in the Bible. Right. You search the Bible. Sabi ng Panginoon, I reveal myself to that book. And if you're going to, to look on me, you just believe me. Diba? Sa mga unsaved, you just believe me and you will be saved. And sa mga kristyano, you just have to know me. Tingnan niyo ako katulad ng tinig, paano siya tinipresent ng Bible. We have to see Jesus Christ the way He is presented by the book. Because knowing Him the way the Bible presented Him, that would really change our behavior. That would really change our life. Because only Jesus Christ can change life. 
The Bible is the written word and He is the living word. When the Lord Jesus Christ healed the impotent man, the Jewish people failed to see Him as the seeker, as the Sabbath keeper, as the Son of God, as the Savior. And the Scripture's message this morning, my challenge to you, my brethren, how do you see Jesus Christ? Do you only see Him as your Savior? He is beyond that. Nakikita mo lang siya na pag may pangangailangan ka, tumalang malapit sa Kanya. No, bago ka lumingi ng pangangailangan mo, alam niya na before you ask. He was there all the time. Pero huwag mo sasabi sa akin pa, nag-backslide ka, may trials ka, nasaan ang Diyos? Natutulog ba ang Diyos? Nasaan ba ang Diyos? No, He is there all the time. Amen. Yung na naghihintay lang siya, whenever you pray. Pag di ka nagpe-pray, He is just waiting. Pag nag-pray ka, oh, yeah, now, now, at last, my children, call upon me. Palagi niya sinabi yan, Hey, call upon me, and I will call upon to me, and I will answer thee. What a challenge from the Bible. Call upon to me, and I will answer thee. Marami na ako may pinagaling ng answer. Marami na, I'm not preaching prosperity gospel. Ibig sabihin, marami sinagot na panalangin and you fail to look on me. You fail to consider me who I am. I am that I am. Hey, Simon, we are serving a great God. We have just worshiping a great Savior every Sunday. Kaya lang mababaw ang yung pag-ilikod is because what? Mababaw din ang tingin mo sa Panginoong Jesus. He's not just an ordinary man. He's the very God of this universe. And He can provide everything for us. Let's learn about the life of Panginoon. Search Him in the Bible. Let's all stand up and let's pray. Lord, we just thank You for this great truth from the Bible. That the Jewish people failed Him, failed to see Jesus Christ the way He was presented in the Bible. Oh God, challenge us once again that we need to know more about You. Just like Apostle Paul, this was his desire that I may know Him. Yes, we have so many desires. We have so many things that we would like to happen in our life. But I believe one of the great desires that a Christian should have, the desire to know more about Jesus Christ. Now, Christians, how, is, how do you see Christ in your life? How do you see Him? He's not just an ordinary man. He is the very God that came down and who died for our sin. He is a seeker of men. He is the seeker of men. Yes, he kept everything that is in the Bible. And that is a challenge for us. He is the very Savior of this world. And let others know that. Let the unsaved know that there is only one Savior, the Lord Jesus one Savior that can save them. Do you look Jesus Christ? Do you find Him? Do you search Him? In the Bible? Why did you pray, Lord? Thank you for being my God and my Lord and my Savior. Oh Lord, we just we are so grateful for who you are. If we could just go into that scenario and join these people, probably we could convince them that Jesus Christ is not a destroyer of Sabbath. He is the keeper, not only the keeper of Sabbath. He loved men. He came not to destroy. He came to heal. He came to fulfill. And He came to give eternal life to those who believe. Oh Lord, I pray that every time that the Word of God is preached, we have that attitude that we could see Jesus Christ in every preaching, in every whenever the Word of God is presented, because He is the very King of the Bible. Right now, He is the central theme of this church. He should be the one that would be glorified in everything that you do. Not only during services, but even in our daily lives, we should be glorified. And forgive us from our shortcomings. 
Bless our gift. Bless our offering for this morning. Bless the gift and the giver. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.